hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the stick diagram how to draw the stick diagram for various uh, sema circuits let us see the nand gate two input nand gate sema circuit diagram and how to draw its sema uh, stick diagrams okay so let me first explain how to draw the cmos realization for two input nand gate so we are drawing the stick diagram for two input nand gate see here in cmos realization many times you may find complemented forms like nand draw the cmos in exams also you may get for simplifying a simple questions if you want to give immediately draw the two input nand gate stick diagram draw the stick diagram for two input nor gate draw the stick diagram for three input nor gate likewise you may get questions in the complemented versions like nand nor <coughs> because in the cmos realizations the output itself is a complemented form without intention the output is a complemented form that is the reason why it is known as complemented metal oxides complement metal oxide uh, complementary metal oxide semiconductor okay it uh, itself the circuit itself providing the complemented form okay suppose if you want to go for the true form definitely you should add one inverter at the output <coughs> now let us see how a two input nand gate is going to be realized see realization is very important when you are going for the stick diagrams or layout diagrams without knowing how to construct the cmos circuit diagram it is not possible to start the stick diagrams and layout diagrams okay realization is very important i told you uh, few points in the previous videos i will uh, just recall them how many inputs are there two inputs are there that means output expression y is equal to a into b bar one should know this okay nand is nothing but and complement so and is two input a b complement is nothing but bar so y is equal to ab bar how many inputs are there two inputs are there so number of inputs is equal to number of inputs is equal to number of pmos transistors and number of pn mos transistors we should know this okay how many transistors we need when you are going to design a particular cmos transistor two times number of inputs okay as two inputs are here twice of this one will be the number of transistors required among them number of inputs is equal to that means two inputs equal to two pmos transistors we need and here two nmos transistors we need this is the number of transistors required now how to construct them i told you one very simple way when product realization is given product realization is given pmos transistors should be connected in parallel okay for product realization here the expression is having product a into b nothing but product so for product realization pmos transistors should be connected in parallel remember pmos always in pull up place pmos should be always connected in the pull up place that means between between vdd and output between vdd and output nmos always connected in between output and the ground nothing but it is in pull down place pull down place that means between output and ground okay all these points are very very important when you are going for the realizations of cmos if you are having confidence enough in this uh, small nand nor x or x nor then any type of realization you can easily construct <coughs> okay for that i am trying to give you the uh, knowledge how to realize 
the CMOS circuits. Okay, remember this particular point. I will uh, highlight this. So for product, PMOS transistors should be connected in parallel. Sir, what about the series? For series, opposite is the case. For series, PMOS transistors should be connected in uh, sorry for uh, plus addition realization plus nothing but a plus b such type of realization for the pmos transistors so they should be connected in series okay once if you are having a product realization pmos transistors should be connected in parallel what about the nmos nmos realization nmos realization should be opposite to PMOS realization. NMOS realization should be opposite to PMOS. That means if PMOS is said to be in parallel, NMOS is in series. If PMOS is said to be in series, NMOS should be in parallel. This is the logic behind the realizations of the CMOS circuitry. Now let us go to the circuit diagram of A into B bar. So how many PMOS transistors are required? I told you a number of inputs equal to number of PMOS. So two PMOS transistors are needed. Go to the first one. PMOS transistors should be connected in parallel for the product realization. See, is it product or not product? So PMOS transistors, so take two PMOS transistors and connect them in parallel. <coughs> so take two PMOS transistors. Connect them in parallel. Parallel means connecting both the ends. <coughs> and PMOS transistor should be connected in between. Where are in between VDD and output? So PMOS transistor should be connected in between VDD and output. Okay, V out is nothing but here Y y is equal to a into b bar see it is the pmos transistor it is the pmos transistor with input a here with input b now what about the nmos realization nmos realization should be the opposite of the pmos as they are in series here here two nmos transistors should be in series number of transistors equal for the nmos also it should be connected between output and ground. So it is the input A, it is the input B. You can take here, here B and here A, no problem. Circuit operation will not vary. Okay. This is the realization of the two input NAND gate. So this is NMOS transistor. Every time why I am writing is to give you confidence. This is PMOS transistor. This is PMOS transistor. <coughs> How to draw the stick diagram? See, stick diagram is very easy. I gave you some rules what, uh, what you have to follow when you are drawing the stick diagrams in the previous videos. So, stick diagram for this one is first draw metal lines on either sides. Draw a metal line here and here. Okay. What is the purpose of metal line? Metal lines are used to give you the power supply. So take black color, put a cross mark here and here and that indicates that you are giving VDD here and VSS here that is going to be for infinite line. That means this line is going up to like this. Wherever you are going, this line carries VDD. Okay, that is the meaning. Now take... Uh, transistors representation wherever you have the transistor so draw the similar structure you are having a transistor here you are having a transistor here in the pull up place you are having two two pmos transistors in the pull down place you are having two nmos transistors take the transistor as it is that means the transistor is just simply replaced by plus transistor is simply simply replaced by plus so, wherever you are having the transistor, draw a line like this. Here, two more transistors in the pull down. One, two. 
okay so next take <coughs> for the pmos transistor take yellow color connect yellow like this hope you understand <coughs> okay because we are having a p plus diffusion i will take another color uh, see next one take green see you are having p plus diffusion from vdd to output throughout like this and again here here also in the nmos the n plus diffusion is from v out to ground so take from somewhere here around here to ground okay now wherever you are having the connection of different wires connect a contact so here one metal line touches the p plus diffusion here also one metal line touches the p plus diffusion connection should be there if you don't give the connection uh, contact then there is no electrical contact between them as they are from the two different layers this is the rule we have discussed and again one more contact should be here so take a contact at this point take a contact at this point now take blue color take blue color and connect these two extend this blue color line as output vi y is equal to a into b bar see wherever you are having the inputs just connect them with a and this is b this is a and this is b this is the circuit diagram of uh, stick diagram of this is the stick diagram of cmos 2 input nand gate cmos 2 input nand gate very easy just if you know this uh, cmos realization then simply replacing the transistor with a plus symbol that gives you the stick diagram once if you are familiar with this stick diagrams it is very easy to go for the layout diagrams okay thank you